Hi! Let's talk about how to solve quadratic equation by factoring. The idea is that you want to make one side is equal to zero, and you want to have the form ax squared plus bx plus c in this order, and then you want to break this down into two factors. So it's like two parentheses, and inside you should just have linear factors. The first parentheses, the first factor, times the second factor, and it's equal to zero. Then you break down into the first factor, it's equal to zero, or the second factor equal to zero. And let me illustrate by doing a few examples. And again, these examples and the flashcard can be found on my um, description. I hope you guys find it um, helpful for your class, for your uh, study. Anyways, um, x squared plus, uh, minus ax plus 12 is equal to zero as the first, equa uh, first example. So to do this, I will show you guys uh, how to factor this out by using the tic-tac-toe uh, box to organize the dots. So you draw like the tic-tac-toe uh, tic box like this. You put the x squared in the first box, negative 8x in the second, and then plus 12 in the third. And then ask yourself, what times what will be x squared? And we don't have much choice, just x times x. And then to break down positive 12, and you have to think about two numbers that multiply and you get positive 12. When you um, combine those two numbers, you will get negative 8. And uh, the combination will be negative 2 and negative 6. To check if this works, we will take um, the x here, multiply with negative 6, we get negative 6x. And then we also do negative 2 times x. In that case, we end up with negative 2x. Combine negative 6x and negative 2x, we get negative 8x, which match with our middle term right there. So then, to factor this out into a, um, a factor, into a product of two factors, you get two parentheses equals to zero. For the first parentheses, you are going to read this from left to right. We have x minus two. And then we have x minus six for the second parentheses. Okay? So, we got what we want, right? The first parentheses times the second parentheses is equal to zero. Then, you set the first parentheses is equal to zero, or the second part, you set the second parentheses equal to zero, and then solve each one. For the first one, you set x minus two equals to zero, or we also have another situation that x minus six is equal to zero as well. Well, to solve x minus two is equal to zero, we just need to add two on both sides, and that's pretty straightforward. We get x is equal to two. This is one of our first answer, right? One of the answer. And then for this right here, x minus six is equal to zero. We just need to add six on both sides. Then we get x is equal to six. Second answer, second answer, okay? Second example, I have two x squared is equal to nine x plus five. Two x squared is equal to nine x plus five. However, we see that we don't have one side equal to zero. Our goal is to have the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So let's try this. Let's try to bring everything onto the left hand side. I will do that by subtracting x here so that I can also subtract x there. Then I can cancel all the x on the right hand side. And that's also minus five here, minus five right there these two cancels. All I have on the left hand side is 2x squared minus 9x and then minus 5 it's equal to 0. So I have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0 and again our goal is, is to try to break this down into two factors and I will show you guys how to factor this by drawing like the tic-tac-toe box again. To break down 2x squared I think the only way to do that is just like 2x times x, right? Nothing too fancy about that. And then to break down negative 5, we have 1 times negative 5 or negative 5 times uh, 1. But then I think the correct factor will be I put 1 right there and negative 5 right there. When we check, 
2x times negative 5, we do get negative 10x. And then 1 times x, we will get positive x. And when we combine negative 10x along with x, we end up with negative 9x. This negative 9x make, uh, match with our middle term. So we know that this is going to be the correct combination. To factor this out, the first parentheses, we're just going to take this 2x plus 1. And the second parentheses will be x minus 5 equals to 0. Okay. Then you set the first parentheses 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Or the second case is that the second parentheses x minus 5 is equal to 0. For, uh, to solve this, I just need to subtract 1 on both sides. And I will get 2x is equal to negative 1. 2x is equal to negative 1. I can divide both sides by 2. And I will end up with x is equal to negative 1 half. First answer. For, uh, for the second answer, I just need to plus 5 on both sides. Done. x is equal to 5. Second answer. Uh, example number 3. Let's look at example number 3. Here we have 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. But then this is equal to negative x squared minus 2x. Like this. So the examples get um, longer, gets more difficult. But we'll follow the same steps anyways. Okay, I'll follow the same steps on how to solve um, the quadratic equations by factoring. So the goal is to make one side is equal to zero, and just have a habit, just as a habit, make the right hand side equal to zero, I will bring this to the left hand side. I will do that by adding x squared here, so that this and that will cancel. I will also match right here, plus x, uh, x squared. So we have 3x squared plus x squared, that will be 4x squared. Right here, I have minus 2x, I just need to add 2x here, cancel, cancel, plus 2x right here as well. Negative 7x plus 2x, that will be negative 5x. Bring down the minus 6, equals to, all this cancel out to be 0. So we did it, we make one side equal to 0. Then we can just focus on this and then factor it. And I'll show you guys this factoring method. Okay. So to factor 4x squared, it gets trickier because you have choices. You can do 4, um, 4x times x, or you can also do 2x times x, um, 2x times 2x, right? So the key to do factoring is that you should just um, try out the combinations. Sometimes you may not get it the first time, but I just try it a few more times, okay? And if you try out all the combination, if it does not factor, and that means that this quadratic equation cannot solve by factorings, we will have a different method to solve it, okay? So let's see, let me try 4x and x. 4x times x is 4x squared. And then to break down negative 6, we also have choices. Right, we also have like two combinations, many choices, like negative 1 times 6, negative 2 times 3, and so on. I'm going to put this as negative 2 right here and 3 right there. Okay. And again, this is just my combinations. To make sure this is, um, actually works, I take 4x times negative 2. That becomes negative 8x. 8x. And then I will take 3 multiply with 3 uh, multiply with x that's 3x negative 8x combined with positive 3x we do get negative 5x that match with the middle term so then i can just continue with my factoring i can go from here into two parentheses the first one is 4x plus 3 and then the second one is x minus 2 equals to 0 so set the first one equal to 0, 4x plus 3 equal to 0, or another situation, x minus 2 is equal to 0. To solve this, minus 3, minus 3 on both sides, and then I get 4x 
equals to negative 3 and then divide both sides by 4 I have x equals to negative 3 over 4 first answer and for the second answer we just add 2 on both sides so we get x is equal to 2 second answer